We went to the county fairs and state fair to do this outreach because of the new agricultural overtime law. Um, the new mandate um, began at the beginning of the year. Um, in the past, we do have tax credits that are available. Typically, people file their returns and then they get their um, tax credit. This time, um, the department was tasked to do an application process. Um, so we are not the experts in agriculture. So we thought um, going to the fairs, the county fairs and the state fairs, we could reach out to the agriculture community. And we decided that, you know, uh, fairs would be a good place to meet with agriculture employers, agriculture employees, because they have a lot of 4-H, FFA projects and other involvement for agriculture activities. We uh, presented that to the management team. They thought about it and they said, go ahead, set it up. And so we went ahead and set it up to go out to the county fairs. Okay, so um, there's a new mandate for them to start paying overtime after 55 hours right. beginning of this right. year. So once they pay that, they qualify for a tax credit with the Department of Revenue. Oh. Um, and it doesn't matter how big um, the farm is for the tax credit. So let me show you here. So depending on for the first years after 55 hours, if they're dairy or non-dairy, the percentage um, may be different. Uh, and also depends on how many full-time equivalent employees they may have. Right. And the reason we're out here is because the short time frame for the application period um, for farmers is going to be from January 1st through January 31st of next year. Oh, wow. And if they miss that deadline, then it's they're not going to be able to apply for it. Um, it felt good for me to be available um, right there and then to be face-to-face -face and be able to answer the questions that they have. If I wasn't able to um, help them, I was able to give them a contact card um, for, for them to reach the correct um, unit within our department. I think the end result um, was effective for the department. We were able to reach um, several communities um, that we normally would not go to. Uh, we went to 27, I believe 27 out of the 36 county fairs. Um, we also went to the state fair. Uh, so we were throughout the state of Oregon reaching different communities um, where typically we don't have that opportunity. It was a it was a benefit. Uh, we had a lot of uh, people that were asking, "Why are you out here? We never see you out here." And just the fact that they could go ahead and ask the questions to uh, people, uh, humans, and we even had the comment of, uh, "It's nice that you're here, so that I can talk to somebody face to face and see that there's humans and not just um, paper and telephones."